Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with Travel with Danny Deb. I'm Dan. And I'm Deb. Well, listen, we're so excited to bring you this episode because we're going to give you guys a sneak peek onto the back lot of Paramount Studios. Yes, we are. And we're so excited about this because Paramount is the studio behind a lot of our favorite TV shows, including... Like a whole bunch, like um, Yellowstone. Oh, Yellowstone. Um, what, are, what are some of the ones that connect to Yellowstone? Oh, yeah. So there's like three shows that are all connected to Yellowstone. So the first one is 1883, okay. when the Duttons like leave the East Coast and like start heading west. And then you have 1923, which is 40 years later. And then you have the current Yellowstone series. So it's all about the whole family the whole way through. Yeah, the Dutton family. What, mm -hmm. what amazes me is, so in Yellowstone, you got Kevin Costner. Yeah. In 1923, you have Harrison Ford. Mm -hmm. Now. Uh, Taylor uh, Sheridan, the writer of the show, is so brilliant, and and whoever directed these episodes, that in the current show Yellowstone, you can see the family traits in the behaviors. Oh yeah. So Kevin Costner has this character down, but you see some of the traits in um, Harrison Ford's character. Oh, for sure. From 1923. Yep. Mm -hmm. So make sure you check out that show, the Yellowstone, yep. 1923, 1883. Yep, for what sure. What are some of the other shows uh, um, Paramount produces? Yeah, we've been watching a lot of Tulsa King oh, yeah. with Sylvester Stallone, and that was really, really good. That was the first year of that show, mm -hmm. and it, we really liked it. Um, the other shows we've been watching are um, Mayor of Kingstown. Well, that was really oh, good. Jeremy oh, Renner. Jeremy Renner. And then um, The Offer. Tell us a little bit about that. Dan. Oh, God, The Offer. Mm. I mean, it's probably about 10 episodes. Yeah. Yeah, it's like yep. perfect amount. And it's all about the making of The Godfather. And we're filmmakers, so I love the industry. Mm -hmm. And that's probably why I like it a little bit more than some of the other series. But right. it's a great story. It's a story about Al Ruddy, the producer, who, by the way, was from the Rand Corporation. He was a computer geek. He was. And you just got to watch the show. Yeah. But uh, it was brilliant, 10 episodes. Now there was uh, one more. Oh, the film, the, it's up Academy Award. Top Gun Maverick. Oh yeah, Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> yeah, another Paramount show. Yep, yep. Yeah. So we should do the disclaimer. Um, by the way, we're not being paid by Paramount. Mm -mm. Uh, and there's no endorsing going on. The only nope. reason we're doing this episode is because we love these shows. Yes. And we're filmmakers and we just wanted to show you some mm -hmm. of the back lots of some of these studios, what yep. they look like. Yeah, it's super cool. Well, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about Paramount Studio? Sure, Dan. Uh, Paramount Studios began way back in 1912. But then back in 1927, Paramount received the very first Academy Award for the Best Picture with its release of Wings. Some of the famous movie stars and directors of the day that worked with Paramount were Cecil B. DeMille, Mary Pickford, Clara Bow, Douglas Fairbanks, Gloria Swanson, and Rudolph Valentino. During the Great Depression, the memorable Bing Crosby musicals and the outrageous comedies of Mae West were all created. So let's talk about the back lot. So there are over 30 sound stages located on the back lot of Paramount Pictures with over 360,000 square feet of stage space. There are 10 audience rated stages and 16 stages over 35 feet tall. You know, they also have a number of back lot locations. Yes. You've got Brooklyn, the Financial District, Soho, Washington Square, Greenwich Village, Upper East Side, Brownstones. They even have an area that duplicates the city of Chicago. Then they got the alley. I mean, why bring a huge crew into a city to shoot an alley scene when you've got the alley right in the back lot of Paramount? It's safer, less expensive, more controlled. Well then, Deb, uh, we came across the Blue Sky Tank. Mm -hmm. Remember that thing? Oh yeah. It's huge. Tell it everybody is. about the Blue Sky Tank. So Dan, the Blue Sky Tank is super cool and it's really, really huge. The tank is 176 feet wide by 195 feet long. And when using the green screen and the blue screens, you can shoot scenes where you would swear the scene is actually on the ocean, lake, or river. And by the way, the tank holds over 914,000 gallons. You know, that's a lot of water. And when we were at 
Paramount, I noticed that there are many cars parked in the Blue Sky tank. Right, yeah. They weren't doing a tsunami movie or anything. No, they kept the tank empty and used it for parking space. Mm -hmm. And rightly so, because there's been a drought in L.A. and California for almost 15 years. Right. So they decided to, you know, not utilize that, which is probably correct, mm -hmm. and use it for parking space. Yep. But it reminds me, at the end of Titanic, Yes. Remember when Kate Winslet is floating around and you see on the breath? door? Yeah. <clears throat> on the door. Mm -hmm. Well, that was filmed right in the big blue sky tank. It was, yeah. yeah. So let's move on and tell everybody about where we stay when we go oh, to Paramount. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's the, the Hollywood, Hollywood His Historic Hotel. Yeah. yeah. If you go to LA, uh, we highly recommend this. Again, mm -hmm. not we're not being paid by Hollywood Historic Hotel. No. But this is only three blocks from Paramount, from uh, the Raleigh Studios. Mm -hmm. yep. You could easily Uber uh, up to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Sure. It is obviously historic. Um, a lot of the Hollywood people used to stay there back in the day. So when you stay there, you go down the halls and there's pictures of all the stars on the walls. and. It's kind of Art Deco. It has a really cool bar called the Edmund, oh, yeah. and um, they have great drinks and you know mm -hmm. small plates and stuff like that in there. And it's really pretty and a lot of Art Deco decorations in there. And there's it's just a really fun, cool place. And it's like so centrally located that oh, you can get sure. anywhere from there. And we really love it. We've stayed there a few times now, and yeah. we'll I be back. Another thing we wanted to talk about in this video, and we're, it's kind of a two for one, you sure. know, mm -hmm. is the Hearst Castle. Oh yeah, And Hearst the reason Castle. we decided to join these two is because a lot of the people who acted at the Paramount Studios back in the day, or Cecil B. DeMille, mm -hmm. uh, they spent time at the Hearst Castle as guests. Yes. So we thought, you know what, let's run up to the Hearst Castle mm -hmm. and check it out. Yep. So what do you think? Oh my gosh, the Hearst Castle. That place, you gotta go. If you ever go to California and you have some time and you can get up the coast to the Hearst Castle, it's amazing because William Randolph Hearst, he was like the collector of all this stuff that he filled this residence with and it will blow your socks off. Oh, for sure. And you know what, I, she's, she's been there before, mm -hmm. I have not. And when we pulled up uh, in our car at the bottom at San Simeon, you know, I saw this little postage stamp building i'm like huh, yeah. okay i'm not too impressed <laughs> i'll be honest the bus picked us up because you have to take a bus and the bus ride itself was spectacular it was super cool yeah yeah and if you're afraid of heights sit on the left side of the bus <laughs> yeah. and then the right side when you come down because yeah. it's like sheer cliffs mm -hmm. but the view when you start going up the it's hill amazing. you see the ocean you see mm -hmm. the islands but the closer we got, this little postage stamps turned into a movie poster. Then it turned into like, we're, uh, it was the most amazing building I think yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah. Let's talk about the pool because oh, we yeah. stopped there first. Right. So we stopped at the Neptune pool first and it's an outdoor pool that's absolutely stunning. It is stunning. And the columns, there were columns there that Hearst brought in from the Middle East that were, was it 2,000 years old? Yeah. They were from the time of Christ. So. You, you start out, you're going to see mm -hmm. the Neptune pool, then you see the guest house, mm -hmm. then you come up to a beautiful overlook where you can see the ocean yeah. and all the fruit trees. Yeah, it's animals. amazing. Oh yeah, there's a private zoo. Hearst had a private zoo on the property and there are still animals on the property that we saw when we were driving up on the bus. Yeah, and they're yeah. roaming freely. Yeah. It's yeah. not like they're in cages. They're no. just kind of they're just out there cruising around. Doing their thing. So we did the um, Grand Rooms tour. Mm -hmm. So that takes you, you know, on the um, outside part around the Neptune pool. You go by the guest houses. You don't go in them, but you see them. And then you go in the main house. So you see a lot of the main rooms in the in the main house, like the theater. Um, there was um, the big giant dining room with a table that stretched almost as far as the eye could see. I oh. mean, it was crazy. It yeah. was. And you know, you wonder, gosh, I mean, personally, I could not live in a place like this. First mm -hmm. of all, I'd be scared to death that other people were living in my place and I didn't even know they lived there. Right. Uh, but it's just too big. But I mean, for him, that's what he wanted and mm -hmm. you know, that's his life. But. It was spectacular, it was amazing, but yeah. the tapestries. Oh geez, yeah, they were crazy, beautiful. That one he mm -hmm. paid how much for? 
I think he paid a hundred thousand dollars for it back in the twenties. One tapestry, hundred thousand yeah. into so, twenty. So would that be about six hundred grand, maybe? Oh, no, more than that. Way more than that. Yeah, probably in the millions now. Yeah. Plus, it's it, it's historical and yeah. like way old, like twelve hundreds or something. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. Each room was amazing. Mm -hmm. We did see the where the keyboard piano was. Mm -hmm. We also saw a billiard room. Oh yeah, that was yeah, pretty. That cool. was cool. So the last stop leaving the castle, you know, I thought the pool was the pool, the Neptune pool. Mm -hmm. Tell them about this thing. Right, this one was indoors and it was huge. And actually, when you walk in there, you are walking on gold like real gold literally on the floor <laughs> yeah I tried it was to scrape some up and put in my pocket <laughs> it was kind of going through restoration so a lot of like the really they usually have like some really cool Roman statues in there and that kind of thing but they were all out right now because they're restoring it yeah well listen everybody we, we we'd love for you to uh, hit the little like button mm -hmm. uh, on this video if you would and if you are not following us just uh, go ahead and become a subscriber you can hit the subscribe button yeah and then there's a little bell if you hit the bell that means then you will get notifications when our mm -hmm. next video is going to come up. That's right. Well, listen, before we go, we got to give a little confession, don't we? Yeah. So we recorded this segment live, in, well, not live, but above LA, above the studios with the Los Angeles backdrop. It was a beautiful day. It was. We spent two hours doing this piece mm -hmm. in the sun. It was gorgeous. Then we find out we had audio issues. Yeah. So what do you do? Wah, wah, wah. You know, here's what you do. You you bring it home to your studio and you do green screen. And yeah. I'm sure you figured out we're doing green screen because there's no wind blowing our hair. Right. <laughs> but we thought we confess it. There we go. We got our LA <laughs> backdrop <laughs> behind us. Yep. Well, listen, we're so excited that you joined us on this episode and make sure you check out the other ones. Yeah. And we'll see you next time on Travel with Danny Deb. See you later.